all right so take a look at these two designs i mean this one and the other one over here right so i'm going to take you through a process whereby we can just improve these designs right these are from pixel lab direct okay these two designs i designed them from pixel lab no other effects added they are just raw designs from pixel lab and the next thing that we are going to do is to improve this design in lightroom and probably apply some snapseed effect to it all right so with the use of the snapseed it depends on the kind of design we have right some design you may not necessarily need the snapseed with lightroom alone you are good to go so uh quickly let me just show you what i will do to this design that will turn them to an awesome looking design right so let me actually show you a thing or two over here before we proceed to that aspect so i'm going to take you through my adobe lightroom folder okay so this is how the picture is going to look like after we finish with the retouch this is how the first design is going to look like and this is how the second design is going to look like now if you uh if you've watched the other design critically you could see that there was some kind of uh some dark effects on this image right i mean the face there are some dark effects over there which we've actually removed or reduced a little bit in this aspect of the design so i'm going to just walk you through how i do that quickly so the first thing that we're going to do is to actually open our lightroom application which i'm literally going to open right away over here i think i've already opened it but i'm just going to clear it off then go back to my you know deck i mean my menu and open it from there so let's see okay it is right here adobe lightroom so i'm just opening it once it open then we can begin from there and the first thing to actually do when you open your application as when you are a new user is to tap on this button over here and import the picture that you want to actually you know use but for me my case i've already imported all these images over here okay i've already edited them so I've already edited them so yeah i'll just pick them from here but for you to actually understand this video into detail i will highly recommend you go back and watch my previous video on how to turn your boring pictures into this in lightroom okay go check out this video for detailed understanding of what i'm going to actually uh, say in this video so go check this out okay go check this out check it out it's highly highly important you do that go check it out then you'll be able to grab all the concept in this particular video over here right so let me just tap on this first one that's the first one you're going to use as a case study when you open it for this the effect has already been applied okay the effect has already been applied so we are in the edit mode if you tap here you're going to see drop down option all right you're going to see info info about the, uh, the image you're going to see info over here okay so this is just the info about the image when you tap on it again you're going to see rates and review you're going to see activities like this okay so i'm just going to go back to the edit mode in the edit mode this is where you can actually edit your image and when you come we have some effects over here that you can actually work on this particular one over here it's auto okay it is called auto when you tap on it it's going to automatically adjust your picture to the kind of the nearest best possible that it can be and when you come to light this is light and this is where we actually do most of the work and i'm going to actually tell you something about this so this is mostly for photographers and we are also equally photographers in kind of these guys i don't know so when it comes to these lights you know when you take a photograph you actually need to know how to use your light in a photograph you don't need that too much light in the photograph with too much light the photograph will not be actually looking best right so you have to play with the lightning effects in your design as well and after the, the lights we come to this one which is color all right so in graphic design you know we deal mostly with colors right so if your color is not that of the best it's probably going to make your design look boring and that is the main reason you probably want to go and check out the previous video i just showed you probably the link is showing up here somewhere here so you can go check it out before you continue this video it's highly highly important all right
so this video i'm just going to take you through the settings i did to get this effect okay that's how come i'm recommending that you go check out the previous video so let's see the settings i did so i've already saved this setting as a preset okay but i'm not going to go to the preset option what i'm going to do is to take you through the light effect the lightning effect that i've applied okay so let's go to the lightning effect so when it comes to the lightning effects the exposure i've reduced it to negative 0.58 all right as you can see over here and the contrast i've increased it to 42 that is positive apparently and highlight is negative 93 okay so these are the settings and like i said it all depends on the image that you are using it is not every image or every design that will request kind of these settings okay it's not every design that would demand that you should set everything like this and that's the main reason i've actually asked you to watch the previous video uh, in which i've actually explained all this stuff so the shadow i've increased it to 62 the white 37 the black is negative 44 so after that we move to the color and the color apparently you can see the blue is kind of deep over here so let's see how it's going to look all right so with the temperature i, I left it at zero the tint zero and the vibrance it's nine the saturation negative two okay so i went straight to this one which is actually kind of uh color grading stuff i think let me just move this over here okay i think this position is good so this is color missing and this is color grading okay this is color grading and this is color missing so over here i try to play with the red okay this is the red it's been selected so i try to play with it and i increased the saturation of the red to you know 67 all right oh although there's no red in this design actually but i just decided to put it that way of course if you bring it to zero it's not going to have any effect actually on the flyer you can see it's even negative but it has no effect so apparently you can leave it so what's most important over here is this and this i mean the blue aspect in a design okay so for this one i left it at zero zero and the next one over here this way i've actually played with it so the hue over here is 26 and the saturation is 27 and the luminance is three so this is what actually made this part of the design to look this good okay it looks good over here so after this you just tap on done and you are good to go so basically that's what i did and effects i have not applied any effect to the design when it comes to the details let's check i have not really applied any details to it because it is already cool what we need to work on for this particular design is just the color so yeah now i would like us to move on to the other design and see how i did improve it and of course in that design we'll have to go to you know what i use next which is my snapseed so this is the design the second design this is the before and it's apparently showing up over here and after we just you know see it okay so when you open up this panel uh, i'm just going to go through step by step so that you see what exactly we're going to do okay so let me just uh come back to lights okay so i'm selecting lights this particular design it's not like the previous one okay the previous one we only played with the light and the color but for this one we have to play with a whole lot of stuff to get the design to be of its best so remember we are still using lightroom application right so we are doing the first part which is the like majority of the work is being done in lightroom over here so let's see exposure moved to 0.29 and a contrast moved to 37 highlights to negative 40 and a shadows to 13 whites to negative you know uh five and a blast to negative four so after the light the next thing that we have to play with is the color so we move to color temperature zero tint zero vibrance 10 saturation negative three that is it and let's see if we play with the color missing as well so for the color missing the red has been the saturation of the red which is here has been increased to 43 
and now let's see for this one because we actually have this kind of color in the design let's see how we've been able to play with it so the hue it has been increased or decreased to negative 3 saturation 10 to 27 and luminance to 30 so from there we move on to the next one and apparently at zero so i think that's all for this because the remaining colors they are not part of the design so we apparently don't need to worry ourselves that much with them so we tap on done and the next thing that we're going to do is to move on to the effects tab and see which kind of effects we've added to this so texture effects we've added a little bit texture actually kind of brings some kind of clarity to the design and the main clarity is here okay when we increase it to 62 it gave us this but let's see when we decrease it to probably something like one let's see how it's going to be this is how it's going to be it makes the design look kind of a little bit pale so let's increase it back to uh, our 62 okay this is 64 all right okay okay so 63 is, is still the, the same thing and when we come to the haze this is it we've increased it to two let's say you increase the dehaze it's going to affect the color of the images in your design so we just want to make it a little bit so we left it at two and that is pretty cool so this is three and it's also very fine so those are the only th things that we've played with in regards to the design but like i said earlier it all depends on the design that you are working with and the elements in the design so right after the details we go to uh, i mean right after the effects we go to the details and the details panel you can equally play with this a sharpening of the image sharpening apparently if you understand it now it makes the thing look kind of sharp okay it reveals some kind of details in it so the sharpening this is the sharpening and these two effects i mean the effects over here are directly being applied to the sharpening okay so this is it the radius has been applied or it affects the sharpening effect and the detail also affect the sharpening effect including the masking it's also work together with the sharpening effect when it comes to noise reduction this is it okay let's say you have some kind of tiny tiny particles in your design and you want to remove it you can actually use the noise reduction to work with that so you work with the details over here the details regarding the noise reduction okay this details layer over here okay it affects the noise reduction and the contrast as well then you play with it a little bit and for this one i've increased it to two zero that you can actually use okay so uh, that is going to be all for the detail so when you move to optics optics i've actually turned on remove chromatic aberration and enable lens corrections so these are the two things i've enabled and that is all for the design over here okay that is all for the design over here you can apparently uh, see everything over here okay that is all over here and the next thing that i did was to move on straight to you know my snapseed okay in snapseed i actually did what we call you know applying selective effects to the design so that's that's exactly what i did all right so here is my snapseed application i'm just going to tap on it to open it so once it is open you know the first thing to do is actually tap on this plus sign to import the image that you want to import so let me quickly uh, check through my gallery and bring out the image that i want to use so the image that i want to use is probably the one that i've uh, designed from i mean i've added the effect to in the adobe lightroom so after bringing it over here the, the first thing that i want to do is to tap on this eye icon then move on to selective and the selective this is what it's going to do okay the selective is going to select let's say a particular part of the design so i'm selecting the face over here because it's a little bit dark so i want to improve it so the first thing i'm going to do is to work with the brightness okay the brightness of it so yeah having selected the face like this okay so i'm going to play with the brightness and let's see as i increase the brightness can you see the effect happening if i decrease it this is how it's going to look it's going to look a little bit darker all right so i'm just increasing the brightness okay 
and of course you can also increase the areas that you want the selective effect to affect so you pinch okay you pinch the screen with two fingers and probably increase it or decrease it the more you increase it the more it's going to affect other part of the design so in this case every part showing in red those are the part that's going to be affected when i've applied the brightness and other effects okay so i'm just going to limit it to you know the face over here alone like this so yeah now i can apply the brightness effect to it like this and i'll just scroll up a little bit and apply contrast if i want contrast to be applied over here if i reduce the contrast this is how it's going to be if i increase the contrast it's going to be like this and you can see it is affecting only one part of the design that is the person's face i've selected all right so that's how i've been doing it and you can also do it so that saturation you can also play with it like this if you want to okay structure structure is kind of giving detail to the to the element that you've actually selected okay so yeah that is how i do it and once you are done with it you tap on this check mark that is apply and of course you can just go and download this to your folder save it or export it and you are good to go so guys that is how i've been doing all this and you can also do it in your okay i mean in uh, snapseed and or uh, lightroom application they are two good apps that can help you and of course if you've not subscribed to my channel yet go ahead and subscribe over here and make sure you turn on notification it should be like this right turn on notification like this like all oh, turn it on like this not personalized and just just make it all oh, right of course there are videos over here that will actually help you if you are new to graphic designing there are a lot of videos over here that will help you master this game and if you want to enjoy everything just go to the playlist column like this and go and look at busy lab tutorials there are tons of videos over there okay like 132 videos over here that will help you to actually master the game of graphic designing using your smartphone so yeah go ahead check this out and enjoy this is going to hear from Serene Art and I hope to see you in the next video. Bless up.